One couple. We're disconnected. At one point we were on two different pages, now we're not in the same book. One crisis. We have to change this dynamic because it's clearly not working. Does Dr. Berman have the prescription? This is Couples in Crisis. Hi guys. Hello, how are you? I'm doing well. Just start by letting me know why you're here. We don't spend time together at all. Why? I just don't I always feel like he puts forth an effort. Is she right that you don't necessarily make the effort? She doesn't see the effort. Like there'll be instances where I'll think in my mind, okay, well, we'll go to dinner, we'll go do this. And then she'll come in, get dressed, say, okay, I'm going out with my friends. I'm like, oh, okay. Part of that is just because she's annoyed in general and feels unromanced and feels, you know, frustrated by that. So what else? What else are you struggling with? We're disconnected. At one point we were on two different pages. Now we're not in the same book. There's a breakdown in communication, misunderstandings, not communicating fully. Oh my gosh, that's the part that drives me crazy. The lack of detailed communication. From both of you or from Jarrell? Him. Give me an example of how he doesn't give enough information. Going to the bank. Dude, when you go to the bank, you need to tell me you're going to the bank. You need to tell me what you're taking out the bank. Because when I go to the bank behind you and I'm expecting one dollar amount and I see another, I'm like, what the? Nah. -huh. Would you agree that that happens? Yes, I do agree. And why? Things happen that I'm not expecting or some things happen. There may be a check or something that was paid to me from the a job that I did that didn't clear and it throws everything into an awry. So I'm like, okay, let me take care of this. But in the process of doing all that. Guess who's gone to the bank? And I always tell him, don't tell me after it's over. Tell me while it's happening. Tell me when you discover this. So it's mostly around money that she's a little more controlling. She's controlling in general. He's passive aggressive and it drives me insane. That's what I'm wondering. Is there any part of you that isn't letting her know? Cause this is like, the only power you have in the relationship? Oh, it's not passive aggressive, it's... What stops you from just giving her the update? I just don't, I think he doesn't want to deal with conflict. I, I, I don't know. I've been trying to figure it out and it just, ah. I want to have the solution to the problem so I can tell her what the problem is because she's going to ask me, what are you going to do? How are you going to fix it? I want to know how I'm going to fix it or have it fixed before I bring it up to her attention. So what he's sort of saying is I'm scared she's going to freak out on me and I'd rather just clean it all up and then tell her what happened. So you have to be ready to stay calm. The last two times it happened, I was really calm. I was really collected and he still did the same thing. Jarrell, did you? You didn't go off like you usually do. You were a little bit more calm, but you still were at a, instead of a 10, you were a nine. It's better than being an 11. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is how you grew up, Jody, and you're what I call an alpha woman. Yes. You like to be in control of everything that makes you feel safe. And what ends up happening for the alpha woman is that she is stressed out all the time, she's exhausted, and 99% of the time she's pissed off. You're trying to control everything, and what happens in the relationship is that the alpha woman just naturally starts to control him. But I don't want to be that way. I don't want to control him. But you are. <laughs> it's accidental. There's no way you're going to have a good sex life. There's no way you're going to have a good romantic life. And this is what happens when the alpha woman, you know, gets a little bit out of control. It really makes it hard for him to step up in the way you most want him to. Because there's no room. You're on the step. <laughs> hogging it. <laughs> <laughs> we have to change this dynamic because it's clearly not working. Now you have to think about how you're gonna change these behaviors. You, Jody, have to really think, how can I let go of my angry mama? So I want you guys, can I give you a little assignment? Sure. I want you to go on what I call a surrender date. You, Jody, for one night only, are going to completely surrender control. <laughs> <laughs> that means that Jarrell controls everything. What you wear, 
where you go, yes. how you get there, what you order, every decision for the wow. entire night he makes. You think you can do it for one night, Jody? One night. You're my night. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, if I'm doing this, it better be a good night. That's not the point. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, explain the point to me again. I don't get it. <laughs> the point of it is an exercise in giving up control and okay. recognizing that everything's okay when you do. Okay. He may not do the perfect job, but he's going to do a much better job than you think he's going to do. Okay. And that he can step up sometimes. So your homework is the surrender date. Okay. And you, Jarrell, have to micro report the money processes to her. Right. Text her every little silly detail. And your job when he does that is to, instead of going from a 10 to a nine, is to go to a six and start trusting him. He may not do it the same way you would, but he'll do it. Okay. Give him a chance. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, yeah. good luck. Boy, we covered a lot in a very short period of time. They're gonna have to digest a bit, but I think this couple, if they do their homework, is gonna be in great shape. Be sure to check out my play-by-play -play below. If you enjoyed this episode, check out Dr. Berman's play-by-play -play on this couple. And check out What the Heck Are You Eating? Where Joy Bauer breaks down the good and the bad in your favorite foods.